Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your February the 14th just for today in a meditation. I'm very excited to be with you today. I hope you're having a beautiful morning, or at least when you hear this, you will start your day out on a positive note. Let's go ahead and get into the screen. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Okay. Ooh, for February the 14th, oh my goodness, Valentine's Day, they're going to talk about <laughs> honesty and spirituality. Let's see if it goes into the relationships area. <laughs> okay, let's see. It says, the right to a God of your understanding is total and without any catches. Because we have this right, it is necessary to be honest about our belief if we are to grow spiritually. That is taken from the basic text, pages 25 through 26. In meetings, over refreshments, in talks with our sponsor, we hear our NA friends talking about the way they understand their higher power. It would be easy to go with the flow, adopting someone else's beliefs. But just as no one else can recover for us, so no one else's spirituality can substitute for our own. We must honestly search for an understanding of God that truly works for us. Many of us begin that search with prayer and meditation and continue with our experiences in recovery. Have there been instances where we have been given power beyond our own to face life's challenges? When we have quietly sought direction in times of trouble, have we found it? What kind of power do we believe has guided and strengthened us? What kind of power do we seek? With the answers to these questions, we will understand our higher power well enough to feel safe and confident about asking it to care for our will and lives. A borrowed understanding of God may do on a short haul, but in the long run, we must come to our own understanding of a higher power, for it is that power which will carry us through our recovery. Just for today, I seek a power greater than myself that can help me grow spiritually. Today, I will examine my beliefs honestly and come to my own understanding of God. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now. God. Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Honesty and spirituality. I think that this particular quote from the basic text is something that once I read it for the first time, I kept it in the back of my mind. I understood that what was being proposed to me was that the God of my own understanding, however good or however bad or incomplete it is or non-existent, it's mine. And I don't have to justify it with anyone. It's a right for me to have. And no one can, I don't wanna say question that because you get plenty of debates about higher powers, right? But no one can force me or cause me to feel shame or guilt or anything negative about the higher power of my choosing. The main thing that we need to get is that we need to be honest about our belief. If I'm going to grow spiritually. That is a powerful statement. A lot of people in the climate that we're in today and I would almost say the political climate, but it's not 
it's it's cultural, right? This pop culture, the climate that we're in today is insisting that whoever or whatever your higher power is, you keep it to yourself, that you don't push it off on other people and allow other people to live vicariously without any concern or regard to what is offending you, right? Each to their own. You can't say certain things. You can't uh, impose your religion, your faith, the God of your own understanding. No one is trying to hear that conversation. It's very in, uh, intolerant climate that we're living in. Narcotics Anonymous and 12-step programs are one of the places that people from all different faiths, all different understandings of higher power, their God or lack of God, all different uh, races, creeds, right? Can come into one room and sit with one another relatively peacefully, already knowing that we have those differences. There used to be uh, like taboo conversation. You cannot talk about um, religion and politics. And I wanna say finances, but it may have been sex. There were all these conversations that were taboo. A Narcotics Anonymous, the fellowship, has taught us that none of those matter to us. What matters to us is that you're doing well and not living actively in the disease of addiction. And then you come into the fellowship and you sort that out. I believe the sooner you sort it out, as it says here, it's necessary to be honest about our belief if we are to grow spiritually. I believe that it's important to sort it out. Because I believe most people have some connection spiritually to, to a faith or to a God of their own understanding, or they have something about them that will allow me to know that they have had a certain spiritual experience. And I believe the more that we try to avoid that conversation, the less helpful it is. Once I began to grasp this statement, I had all of the backing and confidence that even though my higher power may have been different, my God may have been different than someone else's and the way that I practiced my faith was definitely different than someone else's. I had a right to have it. And I would not, I had, I think one person really tried to impose the conversation about religion on me from the rooms. And they had very good intentions. I could tell that they had very good intentions, but they weren't open to the fact that I would not be swayed, right? Nor were they open to the fact that I remembered this statement and indicated to them, I don't even know why we're having this conversation. I already told you I have a God of my own understanding. You obviously have yours. The way you worship versus the way that I worship, it's okay. I just don't understand why you think you can have this conversation with me. Right? And so once that dynamic entered, it changed the direction of the conversation. And I just want to say to you, you have a right to understand your higher power, however it works for you. But make sure it works. Because if you don't realize it, you cannot borrow my spiritual energy. <laughs> it might inspire you. But at the end of the day, you're going to go through the day. And you're going to need something from within. You're going to need your foundation. Not my foundation. Find someone that believes in you, as we read in the Just for Today, that works. That works in the short haul, right? 
as it says here, a borrowed understanding guy may do for a short haul, but not in the long run. You're still going to need to sort that out. And I want for you to do that. I want for you to start considering this week, not just, you know, love and relationships this February 14th, Valentine's Day. How about love and relationship with the God of your understanding? Love and relationship with your higher power. And I, I don't care what that is. Long as it gives you the sense of energy and faith and belief that you can make it, it's there for you. That's really what you need to figure out. And if it's not, then you need to, I would say, do what I did. I'm not just talking to be talking. <laughs> this conversation has been on me since the day I got into the program, right? If it doesn't suit your needs, if it doesn't meet the basic needs that you have to survive, if it's too condemnatory, it's too heavy, it's demanding too much of your physical energy and you don't have the physical energy or the mindset to accomplish all of that, right? Make some tweaks to it. Make some adjustments to it and ride that out. Let that be your core value. I came from a religious, highly religious background. You couldn't smoke a cigarette, let's known smoke a blunt. That was out, <laughs> right? Not only was that out, you were out. That, that wasn't, uh, no. Oh, you like to drink? You're an alcoholic? You, you do not fit here. Right? Obviously. I would have struggled for the rest of my life trying to meet the standards of a religion. But when I understood that I could have a God of my own understanding, it was my right and that I needed to make sure that it was loving and caring and that I had the right to adjust it so that I could feel whole. That's a privilege and an honor, really, to tell you the truth, because the God of my own understanding doesn't really need my understanding to exist. That's the God of my own understanding. It's a privilege and a, a courtesy, grace and mercy that is extended to me so that I can get my perspective right. Because the God of my understanding is broad enough, huge enough, almighty enough to embrace that. My definition, my understanding doesn't change my higher power. It just makes my higher power more relatable for me. And that is a privilege, a gift that's been given, I believe, to every human being. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Valentine's Day. I will be talking to you tomorrow.